Michelle Berger here. We're talking about joints and joint injuries, joint joint injury prevention, what causes joint problems, and uh, you know some of the workouts that you might want to avoid or just think about modifying your workout plan to prevent you from having joint issues. But uh, it brings to question brings to mind the question: uh, What really causes joint issues? You know what you know what did I do or what am I doing wrong? What, what on earth is causing this joint issue? Well, there's so many different reasons why we have joint issues. Um, number one is overuse. We've talked about this before, just repetitive motions over and over and over again on that joint, not allowing that joint to heal, not allowing the inflammation to subside in that joint before you do the exercise again and again and again. You need to have, uh, you know, recovery between workouts. You need to have days off between running uh, so that those joints can stay healthy and strong and so that they don't get worn down. Um, the, the second thing that can cause injuries are muscle imbalances. This is why strength training is so important for every single athlete out there. After puberty, your body will start losing muscle mass, regardless of what you're doing. Regardless of if you are a runner, you're still going to lose muscle mass. Unless you aggressively go after rebuilding your body, you're going to have muscle imbalances. Even people that are teenagers, they have muscle imbalances. Just naturally, you end up with muscle imbalances from you know, activities, from just the way you are, the way you walk, the way you move. Um, you end up with muscle imbalances. So most muscles have a, a, an antagonist. So you have the bicep and the tricep. So if those muscles are not in the correct ratio, they can cause strain on maybe your elbow. So if you're if you're only doing bicep exercises and you never do tricep exercises or vice versa, you can end up with a muscle imbalance that causes a joint issue. And a great example of this is your quads and your hamstrings. If your quads are dominant and you have absolutely no hamstring, you are going to end up with knee and hip issues because they need to be in a proper ratio. So it's very important that you incorporate a full body, very comprehensive strength training program in your lifestyle if you want to uh, prevent muscle imbalances or correct muscle imbalances. The next reason why you could cause an injury is improper alignment. Uh, That's a lot of times caused by muscle imbalances, but sometimes caused by our postures, uh, sometimes caused by, you know, maybe a tightness or a previous injury or just, you know, um, having an improper, um, you know, maybe everyone's different. (laughs) Say, for instance, like if you kind of like have one leg that's just a little longer than the other, that's going to cause possible joint issues. So, uh, improper alignment uh, is one of the reasons why a lot of people end up with uh, joint issues. But along with that comes uh, improper foot alignment uh, or foot strike. Uh, so, so for instance, everybody's feet are different, right? Some people's feet are out here. Some people's are here. Some people walk on their toes. Uh, so improper foot strike often leads to problems all the way up your body. I mean, it could make your neck hurt. If you're improper, uh, if your feet are in, striking improperly, so you can work on this. You can work to make sure your feet strike better. Uh, you know, just having a, a little bit of a conscious effort, making sure that you're you're running uh, with your feet, you know, positioned correctly for whatever speed you're running. If you're sprinting, you shouldn't be up on your toes. But if you're running long distance, you should have a midsole foot strike. And you should, you know, roll up onto your toes and push off on your big toe and making sure that your strike is underneath your hips. It all comes down to uh, biomechanics. So, uh, you know, like getting a little coaching on that, it could play dividends. Also, maybe using orthotics and making sure you have proper shoes. Another reason that could cause, one that I hate, it drives me crazy, is poor posture, bad posture. Stand tall, stand straight, don't slouch, don't run like this. Oh my goodness, I hate bad posture. Bad posture, bad form. You can totally control that. 
you have got, it's hard. It's hard to stand up straight. It's hard to sit up straight. It's hard to, you know, be conscious of that. Walk around with confidence, your chest lifted, your shoulders back. Walk around, stand tall, stand up. Same thing in your workouts. If you're on that machine, you're all like, you know, on the stair mill going like this. What the heck do you think is going to happen to your body? You're going to end up with an injury. So poor posture. Don't do it. I'll come and get you. All right. So along with posture is bad form. Making sure you're using proper form. Now, proper form is you know, kind of like a lax term. I mean, because everybody has a little bit of different tweaks on form and stuff like that. But the basic form, you need to make sure that you are going through the proper range of motion with exercise for the desired result. And that you're not doing something stupid that strains your joint. I mean, you don't want to be like overstretching your shoulders. You don't want to be hyper extending your, your knees overextending your knees, you know, coming down to where it's very uncomfortable, things like that. Good form for where you are in your fitness, in your life, in your goals, okay? So making sure that you have some good instruction on good form. It's everywhere. Google it. Come on. Good form. And just because you see somebody do something <laughs> doesn't always mean it's good form. But, you know, just take it with a grain of salt sometimes. And another reason that you could get a joint injury is nutrient supply to the joint. Nutrient supply to the joint. That means you need to eat healthy and that you need to supply your joints with nutrients. How do they get the nutrients from your blood into your joints? Through water. You need to drink water, proper hydration. Water is the transporter of nutrients to everywhere in your body. So you need to stay hydrated. Proper nutrients to your joints. Making sure you have a diet that has those nutrients in it. Supplement if needed. If you need extra, you know, joint support, take the stuff that gives you extra support for those joints so that they can rebuild themselves. All right. One more thing that can cause joint issues. Antibiotics. I am serious about this one and so many people don't know this. Antibiotics kill off all the bacteria in your body. You have bacteria in your joints. Your joints will suffer if they don't have bacteria. Okay, so if you're on an antibiotic and all of a sudden your shoulder starts hurting, be careful. Your bacteria that should be in your shoulder is not there. So you have to be really aware of this if you're on an antibiotic. You need to make sure that you lay off some of your activity so that you don't damage that joint while you don't have your proper bacteria in there. The good bacteria in your joints lubricate your joints. They keep them moving. They keep the inflammation out. Uh, they, they prevent injury. They, you know, make them be able to move. I mean, it's like the oil in your joint. So definitely be careful and be aware of the bacteria balance in your body. You need good bacteria. It all comes from your gut. It comes from your food. It comes by taking probiotics. It comes from drinking uh, apple cider vinegar. It comes from all sorts of things. But we need good bacteria in our body, and that will help your joints stay healthy too. So anyway, that was a short list of reasons that your body could end up with some joint issues. And so I really uh, want to tell you that you can prevent many of them, but some of them, you don't have, know you have a problem until you have a problem. So seek help. Go to the doctor, go to the physical therapist, go to a personal trainer, and they can help you with some of your uh, issues and encourage you to become healthier and stronger and keep your joints healthy and strong. So let's stay healthy and strong and enjoy a long, healthy lifestyle. Take care. Bye. <laughs>